Yo, what is going on everyone in the XRP community? Hope you guys are having yourselves a fantastic day today as usual as XRP is getting the double bottom on the daily chart after successfully completing a weekly double bottom at an old all-time high. I know Binance was being a bunch of lazy poos and they didn't list XRP 2018, so you cannot currently see the old XRP all-time high of 30 to 40 cents per coin, you know, based on the candle closes and the wicks, but you get my point here. XRP is about to go major, major fill some gaps, guys. You already know it. 75, 80, 90 cents per coin. It's coming. Market moves in waves. Anytime it moves in an elevator fashion, the whales are always going to go and grab that liquidity, okay? Most interesting thing is that Bitcoin, I believe, is trying to replicate what XRP did here over on the weekly chart, right? XRP had the big, you know, Terra Luna crash that affected everybody. Double bottom at weekly, double bottom on the weekly chart at an old XRP all time high. Okay. Bitcoin, old all time high. Weekly double bottom. Looks like Bitcoin is about to replicate exactly what XRP did, which would mean Bitcoin probably surged the likes of $28,000 to $35,000 per coin. Should obviously carry XRP very much higher. Look at all these gaps, man. Look at all these gaps that XRP is looking to fill right here. We got the major pump off of the demand. You got this mid-pump activity going on right here. And guys, I just got a gut feeling. I don't know if you guys can feel it, but I can feel it. This is going to lead much, much higher considering... That Ripple is literally kicking the SEC's ass in court, and the sellers are quite literally failing and doing less volume than when the buyer stepped in on the XRP chart. All right. Let's go ahead and um, look at the all-time, you know, top, top 10 cryptocurrencies of the day. Sorry, guys. It's been an all-nighter. I know you can hear I'm fumbling my words. Not going to explain. I've been working on a little other venture. I had to pull an all-nighter and kind of do some studying. For another potential stream of income and kind of little project, things like that. Nothing to do with crypto, but anyways, you are going to hear me slur, slur my words a little bit. Bitcoin up 6% in the last 24 hours. Big move for Bitcoin. If all coin moves, you know, 6% on the day, it's really not that big of a deal. But for Bitcoin, it, it really is. Ethereum ripping a 13% or on the day. BNB going up 5%. XRP doing what it typically does and being a little bit of a laggard. Staying behind. That's just is what it is, man. Is what it is. Another thing you guys need to see: XRP to Bitcoin chart. I've been covering this for a long time. Breaking and ha breaking a half decade long resistance level that has stopped like ten different pumps, all on separate occasions. So we are just awaiting the XRP to Bitcoin breakout. And I actually noticed Ethereum was very, you know, strong against Bitcoin recently, as you can see. In the Ethereum weekly chart, see see how the, you know, the Bitcoin quoted charts, do you see how it's not, you know, stopping an Ethereum pump for five years? That's kind of interesting, isn't it? Just really, really makes you wonder how XRP had, you know, pumps get canceled for like five years from one resistance, but uh, it didn't happen to Ethereum though. Didn't really happen to Ethereum. Ethereum is looking to absolutely break out against Bitcoin. Um, you know, as you guys know, we are XRP holders. Not the biggest fans of Ethereum, but um, Ethereum is looking like it's going to go for a breakout to get to essentially 20 to 30 to 40% of Bitcoin's price. Interestingly enough, as I am recording this video, currently at 7.15 a.m. from the West Coast, XRP is getting a nice little pump up. Attacking the previous session high, we go ahead and break that. We got our way to 50 cents a coin. Hi, everyone. Check this out here from Crypto Eddie posted this today. Um, three days ago, DBS, the largest bank in Singapore in Southeast Asia, updated their customers. They are offering trading in four fiat currency pairs, the Singapore dollar, the US dollar, the Hong Kong dollar, and the Japanese yen with established cryptocurrencies, namely Bitcoin, Ethereum, BCH, Polkadot, and XRP, as you guys can see there. Yeah, largest freaking bank in Southeast Asia offering XRP to customers in four separate 
fiat currency pairs, but they're not doing Litecoin. You notice how they're not doing Litecoin or Dogecoin or Shiba? No, they're doing XRP, man. High notes, the real deal. So if you're kind of questioning yourself, like why crypto has been just booming last day, I mean, you got ton coin, ton coin. This thing just showed up out of nowhere in the top 100. Um, this thing ripped to 20%. I mean, everything is booming right now. Why? Why? There's a lot of hype right now in the cryptocurrency space that you guys got to understand. Um, the new UK prime minister, because the previous prime minister of the UK resigned after 44 days and is now eligible for a 115,000 pound per year pension. Yeah. I don't know. That sounds kind of like a rug pull to me, you know, be the prime minister of a country for a month and a half and then get paid over a hundred grand a year until you're dead. That sounds like a pretty good trade off to me. That was the one who resigned there after 44 days. Liz Truss. This is the new one. Rishi Sanak probably completely butchered that name, but the hype about him is there are clips surfacing of him from like four or five months ago. This guy is straight bullish on CBDCs. London is ready, as you guys know it. I I'm sure you've seen on the Ripple XRP Twitter community stuff that the Ripple advertisements are all over the place in the London metro station. Like, everywhere, bro. Just go onto Twitter, type in Ripple XRP in the search tab. You're going to see, like, pictures and videos plastered everywhere of Ripple going insane with the advertisements in the London metro system. And as you guys know, Ripple and the Central Fucking Bank of England. Yeah, that's a confirmed little partnership right there. But oh no, 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 but no, don't got don't pay attention to XRP. Pay attention to Doge and Shiba Inu. And Bunny Fuck Rocket Come Token. That's gonna go four thousand percent. Isn't it ridiculous? The things that actually that people put their money into, but they don't realize the biggest backer of XRP, which is Ripple. Working with the Central Bank of England. That's just one of the many, many central banks. So this is why I believe cryptocurrency has been pumping the last few days. Um, this guy being the new prime minister and videos are surfacing of him everywhere about being heavily, heavily supportive on central bank digital currencies and digital currencies themselves. So that's why you're seeing articles from Yahoo News and other you know, financial news sources saying, could Rishi Sunak make the UK a global crypto hub? As you guys know, um, you know, us Americans, we might not think England is like, you know, that large by landmass, you know, Americans in geography, not a good mix, but, um, yeah, London, England, the great British pound that has a truckload of liquidity in the Forex market. People who trade Forex, one of the things they look for is the Forex market open, not just any Forex market open, but the London open. The London Open is a highly volatile time period in the Forex market on a daily basis. It's essentially when, you know, it's kind of how in crypto, how we used to say, you know, oh, we just wait till Asia wakes up. It's the same kind of thing in the Forex market. Oh, wait till London wakes up. The London Open, that's where all the liquidity, that's where all the volatility comes from. All right. Another thing for you guys to um, feel a little bit better about being a bull, not a perma bear. Crypto market sees largest short liquidations in 15 months. Ether leads token surge. Crypto exchange FTX saw some 500 million, half a billion buckaroos in liquidations alone, a larger than usual figure. And yeah, you know, um, I'm not going to show the XRP chart for this, you know, example, but look, if you want to take out all the politics out of Bitcoin, <clears throat> which is pumping as I'm speaking, XRP top in 49 cents, just made a stretch to like literal previous session high. Look at this, man. Look, I know I said I was going to show the XRP chart, but pumping up. And then what's it doing? Then what's it doing? Going for the big cup formation. Probably going to form a little handle right there. And guys, it's blast off time. Get ready for a dollar per XRP. Okay. But just look at this. It's like, I got to be honest here. The, the, the Terra Luna controversy, I think it gave us a... A premature bear market. D does that make sense? Let me know down in the let me know down in the comments below. Does that make sense to you guys? Like, it was kind of a premature bear market. Terra Luna caused all this. I understand that before the Terra Luna explosion, I mean, not like the good kind of explosion, like the bad kind of explosion. 
I understand Bitcoin was topping out, you know, 65K pullback, 30K back to 70 or didn't get to 70K exactly, but did get to 69,000. Haha, <laughs> Elon Musk, funny joke, right? Um, it was having some indecision, which is just kind of that mid pump activity. You know, um, when I say XRP has mid pump activity, like it is doing recently, like right there, you know, it's just kind of got some indecision blow it up to the, you know, daily chart. It's just kind of that, you know, it's that mid pump activity. It goes up crazy. And then it's a little bit unsure with itself. It's a little bit nervous. It's a little shy. It's not sh exactly sure what it wants to do yet. And then boom, I think Bitcoin was probably getting ready to do that. Probably like, I'm really surprised Bitcoin didn't hit, uh, you know, six figures last, last like bull cycle. Right. But then what happened is fast forward to this point in time and Terra Luna brings down the entire market. They brought down the whole freaking market, caused this huge 50, 60, 70% elevator all across the cryptocurrency market, which caused Bitcoin to double bottom on the weekly chart in old all-time high. And now it's finding a bottom. Now people are getting liquidated like crazy. I'm not saying it's record levels, but it's on unusual levels, right? And you got all this UK crypto hype. Usually some country can create a lot of hype about crypto, whether it's Russia or China or even India or America. If any country's government has some sort of, you know, person that comes into position that's like supportive of cryptocurrency or makes some new crypto bill announcement, that gets the markets excited. We've seen that many, many times. And the truth is, is the technicals, everything bottoming out and the fundamentals, they're just lining up perfectly. Let's take a look at Ethereum. I believe Ethereum did actually catch support at an old all-time high. I believe it did. Look at that right there, weekly. I mean, it's not, you know, exactly, exactly, but you get what I'm saying. ETH old all-time high, support, boom. Bitcoin, old, old all-time high, support, boom. XRP, old all-time high, support, boom. Can you guys feel it yet? Can you guys feel the energy in the space? All right. XRP doesn't just form double bottom and old all-time high. Pump. Have sellers become weak. Gaps all the way up to $1.25 per coin. And it's not going to go up and fill that, dude. This is what crypto is. Look at it, man. It's a wave, bro. It's a wave. Up, down, up and down and up and down and up and down. It just moves in waves and it's time for the second part of the wave. And ETH, holy shit, almost 1600 a coin. God dang. All right, didn't notice that. But um. anyways, guys, that's it for the video today. Hope I didn't ramble too much. Again, I did pull another little all-nighter. Whenever I kind of find a little project, a little, you know, new little income online thing I can work on. I don't know, I just get really motivated to pull an all-nighter and see if I can, you know, you know, build up the bankroll, if you know what I mean. But, um, yeah, guys, this video is probably a mess. Hope you guys enjoyed it, though. Do smash the like, subscribe. Uh, that's why I don't, you shouldn't make videos on an all-nighter, but uh, there you guys go. Get ready for the XRP pump. $1.25 incoming, and I'll see you guys in the next one.